My name is Mike Gasper. I'm the area superintendent for Dyna Electric uh, for all the Port of LA and Long Beach uh, work. We uh, picked up this project here in the Middle Harbor, and one of the major aspects of this job was uh, this great big tunnel vault uh, installation here, which we call a cable spreading room, which houses all the underground utility cables coming in and out of our main switchgear lineup. Normally, these are a uh, a port in place application which we've done a lot of. This was the first time that we've uh, uh, come across a prefabricated type application so it was kind of unique because uh, there's a lot of coordination a lot of things that the manufacturer has not experienced before and uh, there was a lot of uh, hand holding, coordination, uh, design ideas bouncing back and forth on how to achieve what they can do versus what we need uh, for our applications on our end. And uh, it started out with uh, the switchgear alignment uh, and trying to coordinate the seams, the joints, and the overlay of our switchgear into their pieces to their vault assembly. And uh, it, it came well. We had several table meetings over this. Uh, a lot of uh, email back and forth. Uh, there was a gentleman named Tony Georgian that did a lot of our CAD design and overlay on this, which uh, really was uh, the heart and soul of uh, the uh, application here and getting to a point where we had constructible drawings that they could build and we could accept. And uh, uh, then when we did finally get uh, to an approved set of drawings and went through all that, uh, the actual whole excavation was large. Uh, how to achieve that from a shoring standpoint and not be in the way of all the pieces to be set. Uh, we decided to slope out the ditch line and uh, not use any shoring but use conventional means of uh, open cutting. The uh, pieces seemed to go together real well. We dry fitted everything uh, at the factory. Uh, we're very happy with how it dry fitted and in the field uh, end result uh, everything looks good. I've seen uh, worse uh, port in place uh, arrangements than uh, what I have here to work with for setting our switchgear on uh, with this fin finished product here. So uh, very happy with uh, Jensen's performance, uh, the interaction of their personnel and engineering group and uh, uh, the proof of the pudding will be once we set our switch gear on here and hopefully uh, you can get some uh, ideas of that uh, once we get it up here you can get back out here and see that you know but this was a major major project for the port of long beach their largest uh, development in long beach and it's going to be one of the uh, high profile terminals in long beach for uh, an automated uh, container terminal standpoint the original uh, concept for this type of application would be a port in place design and, it, and it's a very time consuming process and a lot of labor effects in the field because everything is panel forms or hand formed to work in the field. Uh, you're pouring a bottom slab with rebar coming out of it and you're pouring walls and you're putting false work up and pouring ceilings. The actual constructability on site would be probably, uh, you're looking at a month to two months worth of work out here to uh, build this in place where there was a lot of legwork up front you know in design which you would have had that anyway with a with a uh, port in place aspect but once he started casting these pieces the prefab part of it we were able to dig this hole in about two to three days and have it graded and ready to accept the vault and then the vaults uh, components came out in almost like a, a puzzle you know you just put it together and put it in place and yeah we blew everybody's expectations including Jensen's and ourselves for the uh, assembly process you know it was bid for a and uh, looked at as a four-day application and even with a few hiccups with trucking and uh, permits for the oversized loads we were able to put this in place in a day and a half uh, versus a four-day operation the interruption to the site uh, environment right here was very minimal, you know, because it didn't have to stay open and, and uh, eat up real estate for a two-month period, you know, we're in and out. We'll backfill this thing very shortly 
and this uh, all this dirt will come out of here and we're going to be starting putting our duck banks in in a next week you know coming in yeah, approaching into this so yeah it's a very economical way to go about it a scheduling uh, from a scheduling standpoint it's probably the most uh, beneficial I'm impressed with you know how how it uh, really all came together it was more of a surprise to me how I was really apprehensive at first you know I, I was a little resistant to it you know uh, but as we put our heads together I could see that the dedication of Jensen Precast and, uh, and to our needs and uh, our, our efforts working as a team you know uh, flourished into a final product that uh, we can uh, hang our hat on here as a as a unique project you know.